Hey everybody, welcome back to Florenza. Let's get back to that dice game. Okie doke. So, we're starting the second round. Here we go, and I gotta pick three. Hmm. And you know what? Since uh, I, I think I'm gonna try and master the captain, keep it away from my opponent, which means uh, since this is a low, that means I get to move forward two, and hey, I get some money and I score a point. Hooray! So I got some money to hire some more artists or work on something. So that's one, and hopefully I'll keep ahead of him. Now I know if I don't take this brown, he is going to take it. And by the way, I should say, he never uses the power of the captaincy or the pope. A human player, if, I, if, so, if a human player has the pope, what happens is when they're not the active player, say uh, they are stuck with these three, whoever, I'm sorry, whoever has the ear of the bishop, the bishop, gets to choose any of the dice. They are not limited. So it is very, very handy to have. But the uh, Pope, my opponent, he doesn't particularly care. He's just trying to keep that power away from me. So what am I going to do? Hmm. Let's see. Well, uh, if I want to try to work on the bishop, I could take the four, but that means I would only move forward one. I'm not particularly excited about that. I'm not excited about giving it to him either, but, I mean, he's already in the lead on it. I just might have to live with what I can get. So, what else would I like to do? Well, it's funny you should ask. I could start working on another piece of art. By the way, in the same way that if you can quickly, if you're the fastest to complete all of these, you get six points, or three if you're second place and all of that, there is a bonus for completing all four of these. The bonus for completing all four of the church uh, works of art. It, not only are you getting income for every game, uh, it, you, know, you should because these are really expensive to make, but as soon as you do it, you get to move forward four steps on any of these tracks, which can be a huge windfall because you can see there are tons of bonuses to be unlocked on all these tracks. So, I gotta decide right now. Am I gonna try and chase after completing these as fast as I can? Or am I going to try and just maintain dominance down here? I've started to. Or am I going to start working on some more buildings? I've, I've begun one here, and it's got wood and textiles. So what does that mean I could build? Well, let's, let's, uh, let's peruse a little bit. Wood and textiles doesn't help me with any of these level ones. And uh, it means wood and textiles. I could make the uh, Sagaria which is building number eight. It's worth one victory point. And what it means is whenever I collect resources with the brown die, that is whenever I collect lumber, one of the lumber I can collect can be anything I want, can basically be exchanged. So that's what all of these do is for the different colored dice, when you uh, collect them, you get to t turn whatever you collect into basically whatever you want once. And so since I loves me the red die, it would make sense to build this one, but I need marble and cloth, and that's not what I well, that's not what I placed over here. I could have been putting this stuff anywhere, and in fact, I could be working on multiple buildings at once. I could be collecting stuff in multiple build sites with an intent of building different buildings in different spots, but there is a restriction. Once I've got all the resources to build a given building, uh, even if I've got them in multiple spaces, I must build buildings here, and then here, and then here. I can't just jump around. And uh, there's a reason for that, because the more buildings I build, the more bonuses I get. In addition to however many points they're worth, I have the potential to get free resources or additional points. If I build eight buildings, that's going to be more points for me at the end of the game. So, what building was some... Right, well, actually, I think... I'm eyeballing, building me, building number 14, a Casamento, which I've already got the wood and the uh, textiles. I need some gold and I need some spices. I don't need any money to build this. It'll be worth two points. And what that means is all four of these, the Casa, the Casamento, the Palagio, and the Taverna, they say when you have them, anytime you take a die, doesn't matter what die it is, doesn't matter what number it is, you get to do a special thing. This one is, hey, dice can generate three bucks instead of two. This one is, uh, any die can move you forward two on any of the tracks. This one is, any die could get you two matching resources. And this one is, any die could hire you a level one artist on, for free instead of having to pay, uh, you know, one or two hundred to get a level two artist. So if I'm going to start building me a Casamento, what was it that I need again? Right, I need dye and I need gold. And if I look over here, hey, now's a good time to grab dye, or not dye, spices, because I can get two. So let's go on ahead and take big old number six, and I'm going to collect some spice. And so this building is almost ready. 
Where am I going to put that other spice? I could start preparing another building, or I could start working on another work of art in the church, which is what I'm going to do. And now I get one more, and I, I should take the gold, because if I take the gold, I can finish this building. But I don't want to take the gold because I'll only get one. I'd rather do this when it's a higher value. So do I put that off? And that's a big part of this game. You know, Are you going to go for inefficient, grab it while you can to get stuff done? Or are you going to wait for the dice to go your way? Because remember, after I'm done, the Pope is going to roll and the die might be high at that point. Although he might take it and I might not get it for a while. So what do uh, what else would I do? Well, well, see, well, well. Huh. I'd like to get a bunch of lumber. I need two lumber, I need two bucks, and I need another artist to complete this so I can start getting more income. Let's chase after that. Let's get ourselves some money. Money, because I'm, I'm a little, little cash-strapped at the moment. Now, I could use any of these dice to get 200. Which one will I use? I think I'll use Mr. Brown, because that will keep the brown away from Sisto. Uh, because otherwise, he would get even, even better with the bishop. So I took the brown. I could get two lumber... But I don't need that right now. I could uh, move forward one on the Pope track, so I'd be tied with him. That's not what I'm after. I'm going to get the two bucks. So, woo-woo, I'm rich. Okay, now all other players pick. And, and in the case of Sisto, doesn't matter what. He doesn't care about any of these things. So, uh, we, but you know, he let's say he picks this, but it doesn't really matter because he has infinite textiles and money and artists at his disposal. He really, it's just that he wanted these two and he couldn't get them because I kept them both from him. Ha ha! Which in a two-player game is something you might want to consider. Not only what do I want to get for myself, but what am I trying to keep away from my opponent? All right. Anyway, Sisto's turn. What's he going to roll? Whee! Two, one, four... Three. And uh, still no double gold. Shoot, I was really hoping to get a double gold and finish this building. But anyway, so Sisto, he starts from the top. He looks at what the white die is. It's one pip, so he goes down that many steps. One. He's going to take this. Now, that says three, so he goes that many steps. One, two, three. He takes this. Now, it says four, so he goes one, two, three, four. There he goes. This is what he has denied me. All righty. And in fact, he's left me nothing but low dice! He took all the medium and high dice. What a coincidence. Okay, now remember, if I were friends with the bishop, I could still use these dice if I wanted. But as it is, this is replicating another player that took stuff, did stuff with him. Oh, and he did take the brown die, and it was a three, which means he moved forward one more on the bishop track. It's going to be tough for me to catch up. Well, not that tough. I mean, I can do it, but I'd have to kind of work at it. Alrighty. So, he's done that for me. What has he left? Ugh, if this were a high white, I'd be so happy because I would take it to get two marble, which is what I need over here. But I can only get one marble out of that. And I no longer have my freebie. Oh, I would like to get this done so I'm getting this income before the third round starts. But I cannot. Mm, shoot. Well, maybe I should just go on ahead and take the one gold so I can get my uh, Casamento built. Because what else am I going to do? Well, I could take this too and move up two more on the clergy, which would give me one more resource that I want, and it would give me a coin. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm going to do. Or, or do I take this to move up two more on the captain? Right now I'm in the lead on the captain. I'm probably going to hold on to it, but if I really want to hold on to it, I could do that. I'd get another coin, and I'd get another point. Hmm, so which is it going to be? I think... No, 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 no. Let's go on ahead... And I'm going to do the gray. It's a two, which means I could either get one steel, two bucks, but I'm going to move up two on the clergy track. Bing bong. That gave me some more money, and it gave me another resource that I can use. All right, and here, here I'm on the captaincy. I haven't worked on the pope at all. All right, so that was that. And if I wanted to, I could go on ahead and use this wild now as the missing gold because my, my turn is still going, and once I have that gold, I could immediately... When you're, when you're trying to make works of art, you have to hire an artist. When you are trying to build buildings, you just have to have the resource, and then you can say, hey, I got all the resources. I could make my Casamento right now, but I don't need to do it. It's not like it's going to give me income. I'm going to wait, because I'd rather probably hold on to this wild just in case I need it later. So... That was that. I took a gray. Other players would take other stuff. We are now moving on. All right, round two is over. We're moving on to round three. And first of all, income. 
I move up even further with the captain, which gives me even more money. And I haven't finished either, so I don't get any more income. He doesn't care about income. Now we determine the captain is definitely mine this time. So I get to take any one resource I want. And I can't store it. I have to immediately apply it. I think that one resource I want will be that one gold I needed. Boom. So, hooray, I'll be able to build the Casamento now. Hooray. All right. So, the captain gave me a resource. It was what I needed. I held on to my wild. Now, whoever is the bishop, it's the pope. The pope loves the bishop. And so, I will not get my free reign of choice among dice. So, we're done with that. And now, here we go. Whee! All right. There's a lot of wood. There's a lot of textiles. There's a lot of metal. There's not much spice, not much gold, and not... Ah! I want double marble! Because I need two marble there. Oh. So, again, burn the hand two in the bush. I could just go on ahead and take this one marble. Use this as my other marble. I've got the money saved up. And then I could use this artist, because it would be a cheap artist. It would be a cheap artist. And I would get this masterwork made. So that's not nothing. Why can't you just roll high when I want you to roll high? Mm, let's see here. I think I'm going to do it. All right, so, uh, this is so painful. I could move up two on the captaincy, which would give me a point and nothing. Shoot. If I move up on the bishop, I'll just make some money. If I move up again on the clergy, I will move up one on the bishop and do another masterwork. So hold on a second. I'd like to do another masterpiece to score two more points when I finish this. So, if the first thing is this... Oh, but the gray, I only move up one because the gray is too high. Curse you, dice. The only die I have control over is the one I don't care about at this point. Although the interesting thing is, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking at this to hire... I could always hire a cheap red artist. Although I need a cheap red artist over here, not over here. So I do think I'm going to go for this green and get the cheap artist while the cheap is good. But the question is, can I make it a masterwork? I'd have to move forward two. I'd only move forward one. Nope, there. I can't do that. So what is the third die I'm going to take going to be? Well, oh! Hold, hold, hold your horses, folks. How about before I do any of this, I finish the old building, number 14, the Casamento, which is worth two points. All right. Maybe that'll change things up. All righty. So that was building 14. And I cannot build this again. This is a reminder. No more building 14s. All righty. And that's two points. It's Casa, Casa Men. It's raining Casamen. And I put a reminder here that the special power I have for the rest of the game is a die can, any die can be used to get a pair that I want. Like, I don't know, maybe a pair of marble. So, um, any die can equal, uh, you know, uh, matching. Uh, it can equal, how do you represent that? Oh, you have a picture of all the resources. Equals, um, Matching resources. Right, that. That's that's good. Okay, so I've got another special power, which means I could take any die I want and get the two I need here. Right. So that means I don't have to use my wild. Okay, so I'm still going to use this green to make the work. I still cannot get the, up to this masterpiece task here, so I'm not going to gain as many points. I'm not going to worry about that. Um, but I, all things being equal, I want to keep Sisto from getting either of these because otherwise he'll take both of them uh, you know, because he, he gets to do that. So I will use any die I want. I'll use this crappy little one die, which would normally only give me one, but because of the Casamento, it gives me two matching. It's going to be two. Boom, boom. Hooray. And now I need the money. So there goes the money. And now I just need the artist... Let's go on ahead and hire this fellow who only costs one because the because there's some cheap artists in town. And I put a two over here to indicate I now have this income and that's three plus two, that's five points. If I complete both of these, I'll get four on any track. And in the meantime, I'm now getting passive income towards the captain influence and the bishop influence. Noisity, noise, noise. Although I'm running out of time to get any of these bonus points off the palace. All right, so that was that and that, and I've got one more. And, well, if I want to take the brown to keep it away from Sisto, that means I get one bishop, two bucks, or two lumber. 
I do need some lumber over here if I'm just going to keep on working on the church. And then I could store the other lumber over here, or I could use the lumber to start working on one of these. Let's go on ahead and just keep Sisto away from what he really loves. That's two lumber, and hey, there goes one, and let's uh, get ready to build another building. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be, but I know it's going to use some wood. Okay. And, you know, if I build this building and then this building, not only will I get the points and the power, I will also get another wild resource of my choosing. So that's that. I leave these for Sisto. Sisto said, ah, blah, I don't like any of them. So uh, we're done now. He's the active player. And what is he going to leave for me. Again, just like a human player. Alright, so, one, two. So he's left that, and then this says one, two. One, two. He's taken that from me, and that says five. One, two, three, four, five. He's taken that. Okay, so he left me both of these. He didn't take either of them. These are blocked. And so, I get to pick one of these. If, again, if I were friends with a bishop, I could take any. So what do I want to do? Hmm. Let's see. I need two more marble and two more money. I'm gonna probably wanna, all right. And uh, yeah, 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 yeah. With that Casamento, I could use this crappy thing again. Well, I could push up two on the captaincy, but I'm, I'm really firmly in the lead on the captain. I'm not worried about that. But I can use this to get two more. Thank you, Casamento. All righty. <gasps> oh, all right, so that's that. this is the one I used. Man, if I could just do one more thing, I'd have another artist. And I could finish that in time for... But say lovey. All right, so that was it. Round three is done. All righty, time for round four of six. First of all, we do income. And now I move up on the captaincy, and I get a point for that. And I move up on the bishop, which gives me another smacker. And, I, and, I, and if I, I can take this from him pretty soon if I keep on pushing it. All righty. And uh, I, as the captain's best friend, I get another wild card. I do not get the power of the bishop. What wild, what what item do I want? Well, I don't need anything more here. I could go on ahead and take the single, I'm just going to go ahead and take a single medal. So I'm just getting ready to finish all four of these. All right, so I took the single medal. Thanks, Captain. And I, I don't get the bishop. So now we roll, roll. Bing, bong, boom, boom, boom. Ooh, low dice. All right, so, well, I don't mind though. Because remember, I'm about to finish this. I would like to uh, hire a low red on, oh, you know, I, I could actually turn this high number into a low number to hire a low red, or I could hire a low yellow. And although, again, the question is, man, gray, why do you hate me so? I would totally take the gray to push up two to get in good with the bishop, which would give me more money, and it would mean another masterpiece, but this gray just keeps coming in low. I hate you, gray. I hate you. So, um, what do I need? Oh, and I need two more. Okay, let's just go on ahead and use the old Casamento. And I'm using that um, not for... Let's see. Oh, do, no, do I want to move up for two on the captain? That would give me some more points. Nah, some more money. I don't know. I'm just going to use this. Normally it would be one, but the Casamento says I can take two matching. So, look at that, baby. All right, I need some gold, which I have right over here. So, I need a yellow. And, yeah, let's just go on ahead and make two works of art, shall we? Shall we? How much money do I have? I have one, two, three. Oh, I can't do it! No! Because I need 100 to hire each of these artists, because they're, they'd be low cost. But I need 200 here, so that means I need 400 total. I can't quite do it. Shoot. But I could still potentially do it at, when I'm not the active player. So let's get one of these done. Let's go on ahead and spend some money. And uh, use the old... The old... Um, red... And I, uh, because remember, my power says this red can be any number I want it to be. I'm going to say it's a low number so that I only have to pay one to make this level two artist. And boom, I've unlocked that. Now I'm getting income on all three tracks for the rest of the game, although the game is uh, half over. And so, am I going to take a single gold? Ah, if I just had 100 more. Because I could use this to hire the level one, but I just don't have the money to do it. Drat, 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 dratity, drat. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to pick. I'm going to. I'm just going to keep Brown away from my opponent, uh, and I'm just going to use it to get two more. Bang, bang. There's one building that says, "Hey, when you uh, whatever you take, you get three instead of two. I'm taking two more. So that was it. He doesn't care because I haven't left him the only things he cares about. Now it's his turn. Oh, it's a big. It's a big. 
Why now? Why now? All right. Well, first of all, he's going to take some stuff. He takes the six, which he looks at the six and goes, one, two, three, four, five, six. So he's taking that one. And he always then does whatever the number is. So he's going to go six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. He takes this one. And this one is three. One, two, three. That's what he took. All right. So he's left me those. All right. I've got the money. I've got the gold. And yes, I've got a cheap artist. Or either one of them are cheap. Phew. Okay. So I can do it. But... Do I do it, though? Because if I do this now, that's two forward. It gives me in good with the bishop to make some more money for me. Oh! Oh, whatever. And gives me gives me more money, but it gives me the masterpiece so that when I do this next turn, it'll be two more points. So two more points or income right now. I think I'm going to take the income. Alrighty, so that means I'll just go on ahead and use this as a low, a cheap yellow artist, which costs me 100, which means two... And boom, I have now finished all the works of art in the uh, church. So I've got all these incomes, all these points, and I get to move forward four on any one path I want. So if I move forward four on the captain's track, I'll make some money, some points, and the ability to do a masterpiece. If I move forward on the bishop, I'll make some money, and I'll get to move forward one on the clergy and a couple of blank spaces. But I will definitely control the bishop for the rest of the game, so that might be nice. If I move forward on the clergy, I get another space for the bishop, which will make some money. And I get the ability to make a masterpiece later. And I get a coin, and I get another wild card. Ooh. I, um... You know, I've been able to get what I needed done without bothering with the bishop. I'm not going to chase after him. I am in it to win it. I'm, I'm just going to do some more clergy. Yeah. I, I, I'm, sadly, I didn't take this to move up the two. Or I'm sorry. Oh, no. It's a high number to get the two steel. Right. It's fine. It's fine. All right. So I'm going to move up on the clergy. One, two, three, four. That gives me another masterpiece in the wings. It gives me some more money. Um... See, oh, it gives me another wild, and it gives me my second step on the bishop, which gives me more money. Okay, I'm feeling pretty flush, pretty flush indeed. And that was that. Oh, but let's not forget, folks, always watch the thing on subtitles turned on because I tend to forget and goof. I'm sure Paul already noted. I'm totally forgetting that Mr. Man is moving forward one on the captain and um, two, nope, one on on each of the two paths. So he's made it up there, and he's made it up there. So he can't touch me on the captain. He's still... I was tying him for bishop, but he pulled ahead with uh, less than ideal numbers. Okay, so that's that. We are now done with round four. Moving on to round five. It's income time. I move forward one on the captain, one on the bishop, one on the clergy, which moves me forward another on the captain, which gives me some more money, and then I also get some money. So, late in the game, you can start seeing big combo string type things happen, depending on what types of buildings you focused on, or benefits, and this and that and the other. So I've got all the income coming, and I'm the, the captain loves me, so I get to take one resource. And so, let's see. I might no, not bother. Let's see. We're in round four. I cannot get six bonus points. I could... I can't get three bonus points. If I try to rush and finish this, I might get one bonus point, but I don't think I have enough time. So I think I want to start working on some buildings, which could be worth points too. So the captain uh, is going to give me one thing. I'm just going to say, hey, Cap, give me some some um, marble. Okay. And, um, right. And interestingly, we're tied for the bishop. If I had one more bishop, well, that means I'd also have one more clergy, which means I'd have one more masterpiece. But in addition to that, I would get full control over the dice. But not quite there. Four, three, one, one, two, five. All right, what am I going for? Now, here's what I'm thinking. You know, we've got two more rounds here. And I can, and I've, and I've finished this. Rather than starting this, I could just double down on buildings. And I told you about the buildings that just, uh, you know, make dice into wild numbers. I told you about the ones that turn dice into wild resource generators. There's all these ones that turn dice into better versions of what they normally are. And um, then there are all of these ones that do very exciting things. If I build the Otenario, I just immediately get two resources plus two points. Uh, this one means uh, if I make masterpieces, they're worth three points instead of two. Um, this one means whenever I get a, whenever I hire an artist, he could be any color I want. This means it costs me less to hire artists and so on. But these last ones, 
buildings 22 to 25. They just want lots of resources for lots of points. So the rest of my game might just be trying to build a cathedral or a university as fast as I can before time runs out by collecting these resources to get big, big points. Um, because, I mean, I'm getting less and less time to make uh, take advantage of these buildings that would only give me medium points. Now, alternatively, it's these are pretty easy to get. I mean, I could potentially pull it off. I'm sure I could pull it off so that I get all of these. That's three plus two plus three plus three plus however many points the artists are worth plus one more plus another resource and another resource. I could go for that or I could go for buildings. And uh, yeah, that would kind of define how the rest of the game is going to play out for me. But folks, I think at this point you should have a pretty good idea of what Florenza Dice Game is all about. And if you want to hear some final thoughts, you can hit that eye in the top right corner screen or follow the show notes in five, a four, a three, a two, a one.